Hey there, it's Ben Housel here, and here in this tutorial we're going to be having a look at how we define our own brush preset, and then how we also go on and use some of the shape dynamics and color dynamics in our brushes to begin to create some really interesting effects. So the first thing I'm going to do is select my brush tool here. I'm going to make sure I've got black as my foreground color, so I can click the little black and white square there, and now you can see I've got a basic black brush that I'm using. Now I'm using a pen tablet here, so I want to turn on some of the shape dynamics here just so I get a little bit of tapering of my brush. So I'm going to check shape dynamics and turn on the pen pressure and that just means now when I draw I can apply a bit more pressure, get a thicker brush and then also kind of create a bit more kind of interest in the brush. So we're going to create something super simple here. So we'll just draw a couple of quick lines and then I'm going to change the gray here. So I'm just on my brightness here, my color picker. So we'll increase this to a lighter gray. Now if I draw with this now, it's going to draw over my initial kind of black lines there. So I'm just going to change the mode to darken. So when I draw with the brush here, it doesn't erase those black lines. It just kind of darkens the, the background. So we'll make another kind of slightly darker gray here. So you'll see this one will darken those lighter gray lines, but it won't overwrite the black lines because we're using that darken feature. Okay, so you can see I can paint very lightly on there, or I can kind of add a thicker line. And we'll just add some lines off to the edge there as well. Okay, that should do it. So the reason I've kind of added these different textures there is that we can then see how the gray and the different lines kind of respond when we make a brush. So the first thing we need to do here is grab our rectangular marquee tool and we're gonna select the area of the brush there. So once we've got that selection, we can go to edit and define brush preset. And that will basically grab all of this brush. We'll call this Ben's brush. May 2020. So now you can see if I uh, deselect this and I'm just going to do command A to select all, I'm going to delete my background there. So you can see now when I tap once with the brush I get this kind of stamp of the pattern I've created. So we're going to change this up a bit. I'm just going to use command and Z to go back or control and Z if you're on the PC. We can change the size of this brush obviously to a smaller brush. But where this starts to get really interesting is if we start to look at some of the shape dynamics that we had there before. So if I bring up my brush options here, you can see at the moment if I paint with my brush, I'm just getting this very uninteresting line. So we are going to turn on the shape dynamics. We've got some options for pen pressure. So now with the pen pressure, I can use a smaller version of that. And you can see we start to get a bit more of an interesting pattern there. But it's really with these types of brushes that when we turn on the scattering up here that we start to get some interesting results. So I'm going to turn the scattering on somewhere around 129%. We'll go back to the shape dynamics and I'm going to turn on the angle jitter. And you can see now, I'm going to make this brush a bit smaller, that when I start to paint with it, it's actually going to start to create a nice kind of interesting textured brush. So you can see that little bit of detail is really starting to work nicely. Okay, so I can add pressure. Okay. And then I can also increase the flow option here. And we'll change this back down to 70. But once we start to play with this, um, we can also obviously add color in here too. So we'll increase the brightness here and we'll grab sort of ready magenta. You can see we start to get some interesting textures in there. We can also have a dual brush as well. So if we select another texture from a different brush that we, we have here, so we could select, let's go for this kind of textured brush. You can see down at the bottom here that as I change the spacing, I kind of work with the spacing, it's starting to cut into that original line. So we can start to 
have some interesting kind of combinations of both those brushes there and we can also change the, the sort of scattering of that as well so okay so you can get some really interesting brushes with the dual brushes with a uh, creating your own kind of texture in the brushes and if we zoom in here to 100 percent you can see that brush is starting to really create something nice and sketchy something nice and uh, textured and we can use that in our, our drawings as well. So if you're looking to create kind of more interesting textured brushes, then definitely um, have a look at defining your own brush presets, thinking creatively about how you can use those textured brushes in different parts of your creations in Photoshop. It might be for backgrounds, it might be for working with layer masks and stuff like that to blend images together. Um, but brushes have a lot more use beyond the basic illustrative purposes of those brushes uh, kind of that you might initially think um, would be useful in Photoshop. So you can see we're really getting some nice effects here once we start to play around with things like the, the hue jitter. So if we push this right up, you can see as I paint with the brush, it's coming up with a different color every time and we can have a little bit less hue jitter, which means that when we paint with it, we're getting similar colors, but not the same colors throughout. Which can be really useful to just generate that texture and that interest in the projects you're creating. So as you can see here, there's a lot of very cool effects we can create with our brushes in Adobe Photoshop. Um, if you have any questions, then leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.